Hi guys, so here's how to create a payment gateway with PayPal. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on a new tab and I'm gonna to go to developer.paypal.com. So the prerequisite for this is that you have a PayPal business account, which are pretty simple to make if you just sign, it's just going through the normal sign up process, but you just click on business and not personal when you're creating that. I've not shown it there because I didn't want to give out all my personal banking details on the internet. Um, which seems a little bit silly to do. So first thing I'm gonna do is once I'm on developer.paypal.com is go to dashboard. Let's accept the cookies too. Now there are two modes that you should be aware of. So sandbox is just for development purposes and like a sandbox, it's there for you to play in and everyone loves sandboxes. So I'm gonna click on live, which is a fully functional live production of your PayPal payments. So this one is actually taking money and taking away money and various things like that. So I'm going to create an app and I'm going to call this test and I'm going to click create app. You should name it something recognizable. If you have more than one Zenla site you have different payment gateways. So it's something you should bear in mind and set up naming conventions. So for example if you've got multiple sites calling them multiple different things. So for example Payments, Zenla, Site 1, Site 2, Site 3, and so on, so on, just so you're vaguely aware. Now, there's three things you need to be aware of. Your secret, first of all, you shouldn't show to anyone. I'm going to be blurring this out, uh, and my client ID as well. Um, and then here's my PayPal account username here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my, I'm going to go back to Zenla, and I'm going to click on My Account. Now I'm going to click on site and I'm going to go down to integrations. Now once I'm on integrations, I'm going to click on connect with PayPal. Now PayPal is only going to ask for three things. So it's going to ask for my email address, which is jamie at zenla.com, my PayPal client ID. So it's this long string here under client ID. I'm going to paste that in. And then my secret key, again, don't share this with anyone because it's it's pretty important that you don't. And I'm gonna paste that in there. So I'm gonna click save. And there we go, that's now active. Um, so to test this, I've already tested it with Stripe, but to test it with PayPal, if you just go and open a new incognito window, so on Mac, you just press Command Shift N. And this has got a clear cache, no cookies or anything saved. I'm then going to go to my account. And I'm just gonna buy my course. So uh, I tend to buy my courses and then issue, my, issue myself refunds. Um, it's not a particularly big deal. So now I'm on here, I'm going to just add in an email address. So one thing to bear in mind that if you are using PayPal and you've got a new PayPal account, it will take 14 days for it to have properly set up fully. So if you, if you are using a new account and you need to set up your payment gateway now, I recommend you use Stripe. And there we go, that's how to create a PayPal integration with Zenla.